closer to Halloween, you may be wanting to put out some decorative pumpkins around your home. Katrina Huffman from Etsy Dallas is here to show us how to decorate these guys without the fuss of having to carving <laughs> pumpkins because that's always a mess and then Absolutely. you're worried you're going to cut your hand. But these we are can so really cute. make these beautiful yeah, and you. display them in our home. Show us how to put these together. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is pick up some pretty easy supplies to find at your local craft store. Mm -hmm. This is just fancy glitter basically it kind of looks like little balls it is pretty it's and really it's, really it different like glitter. This. i don't know if you guys can get a close-up of this yeah. this is the gold it's of it looks like something you put on sprinkles you know, yeah. with cupcakes yeah absolutely okay so what you're gonna do is this is just glitter mm -hmm. paint you got it at michael's or hobby lobby or wherever mm -hmm. and you're gonna want to you know put some out on your plate maybe <laughs> <laughs> there you go and it's really glittery. Yeah, it is. And it's nice because it acts as the glue mm -hmm. also. Or mm -hmm. you can just use pins to kind of color it yeah, in, right? Yeah, yeah. These are cool. They're um, gold leaf pins. They work like paint pens, mm -hmm. but they have that really beautiful, shiny Lisa, you want effect one? that... Um, you know, you can Ooh. get with the big mess. Smells process. good. <laughs> I think this one's almost too pretty to paint, to be honest. I mean, yeah. This is oh, a sorry. gorgeous I want pumpkin. some of this stuff. Uh, you know, I, I picked these up at my grocery store, and last night I was just oh, thinking, so pretty. this is going to be, and that's what I like about this too, is it doesn't take away from the beauty of the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. You know, the gourds themselves are already so pretty. And mm -hmm. You could almost do a, like a jack-o'-lantern face uh -huh. and then like use the glue to do yeah. the eyes You can and judge stuff. up your yeah. jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, exactly. Well, judge the, them up. the best part of painting pumpkins is that they don't okay. go bad, absolutely. Right. And you can you do know, they last They last for a long time. You could use these exactly yeah. for Thanksgiving absolutely. if you haven't. So don't do mm -hmm. the jack-o'-lantern. Just paint the pumpkin yeah. and then set it on your dining this table. And my kids pumpkins. would have none of <laughs> that. <laughs> pretty? This yeah. glitter paint is fantastic. I know. So where did you say you got Because I like that. I want to go get some of yeah, I have silver and, you know, they make it in all sorts of different colors, but it really gives it that quality. Well, she didn't tell you these gold leaf pins will make you high because <laughs> they smell Be careful, <laughs> like there's stuff in here. Be careful. It's true. It is it's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Did you bring the wine, Katrina? <laughs> I so haven't not, had You know, there yet. is a concept out, like, they do painting and drinking. It's a mm -hmm. wine thing. And oh, you yeah. get to paint I love drink those. At the same those, time. So much, those are so much fun. Yeah. Now, how would you recommend, like, putting these around the house? Would you make, like, a tablescape with them, or would you put them maybe by the front door? What would you do? You know, I think they're beautiful as a tablescape. Mm -hmm. You know, they really set it off. But... I use them kind of everywhere. I have them on my fireplace right there because we're not really using our fireplaces yet. Yeah. 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 Maybe for a while, idea. but yeah. just, you know, anywhere that you can really, you know, create, a, you know, like a, a tablescape or, you yeah. know. A, a you know what I've seen too is like with the smaller ones, I've seen them like take the tops off, hollow them out and put like uh -huh. a votive candle in it. Oh, so you can still beautiful? decorate them with the glitter mm -hmm. and then put the yeah. candle in. And some really people cool. have oh, been. That cutting them open and, you know, pulling all the stuff out and mm -hmm. using it to, for their flowers. Oh, if you just cool. set in a vase in there, you can use it as a flower arrangement, too. So it's like, uh, you know, decorative gourd season is literally my favorite season. And you <laughs> know what? Too. A way, I love it. A way I love to keep the kids occupied. Yeah. This is a great weekend. project. A lot yeah. Yeah. less dangerous. Weekends so we want to pour sure. something on here. Yes. Yeah. How long will cool. these take to dry? It some more. It, you know, the paint pens dry almost immediately. Okay, cool. What about this paint? Because it's this really thick. This takes a little bit of time to dry, but mm -hmm. you see how easy it is? Mm -hmm. Now, it's going to act as the glue. We're going to take this. It's tinsel glitter. You know, okay. it's all about knowing which supplies just to go pick ahead. up. We can clean this up later. Okay. Just have at it. So you just sprinkle it on Ooh, and it gives like it a Yeah, it gives it a, a little more dimension. Mm -hmm. You know, in art school I learned that it's about layering. You know, that's right. how you get the, the high end look is to layer. Okay, so, so tell us a little bit more you about your Etsy yes. page. I, I want to know what else you do on your page, what sort of crafts well, you do. Well, I do a little bit of everything. Right now I run a business, a uh, letterpress printing business that I do. Um, wedding invitations and art prints and stuff like that and I'm part of a group called Etsy Dallas mm -hmm. you know it's a really great group you know a lot of Glitter. a lot of interest in keeping the art alive and being involved in the community right so it's just it's been a really fantastic way to get involved and to share awareness for small business so. Love it. Now this one's pretty fancy. How'd you do this one? I did with the chevron. You know, I, mm -hmm. us girls like our chevron. <laughs> yeah, that one was really just me taping the pumpkin, taping mm -hmm. the pattern, painting the rest of it white. I used just regular acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. It's tape. Um, yeah. Well, it was tape. I peeled it off. <laughs> oh. It, you know, the tape was right here. That's how you keep the margins. And then you just even. Yeah, paint it, and then I just took that glitter 
paint right there and went over the top of it. And again, they're really elegant. I like it. I think it. I'm going to have to buy but several of these yeah, because just, one bottle is doing half all of over my house. Oh my gosh, we're going to go to Amy's house. Everything's going to yeah, be covered in glitter. Exactly. <laughs> this weekend we'll have an arts and craft party. <laughs> this we'll is really cool. We'll make pizzas and drink How wine. Fun. <laughs> this yeah. is great. Thank you, Katrina. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, you can check out Katrina's store on Etsy. That's right. And the website again is etsydallas.com. etsydallas.com. Yes. And um, we thank you for coming in and thank bringing you. these lovely pumpkins to us. And we'll have more broadcasts when we come back. Thank you. That's looking good, Amy. Yes.